Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's MLP Season 8 Episode 15, The Heartswarming Club. So there's some kind of club in the school to do with heartswarming, so we're basically getting yet another heartswarming episode. Now, I will put on the table that I don't think any heartswarming episode is ever going to top the epic musical Christmas Carol retelling that was a heartswarming tale. That is always just going to be the best. Like, the, my favourite episode of the show. Like, every time I think that another episode has topped it, um, I go back and watch it, and it blows me away. Every single time. Uh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, you know, so I think any heartwarming episode is doomed to not live up to that. So I'm not going to try and think about it too hard because <laughs> I doubt this is going to be a musical. <laughs> I have a weakness for musicals, and musicals are some of my favorite episodes of the show, like Pinky Pride and obviously Heartwarming Tale. And Crusaders of the Lost Mark, you know, it's the musicals, they get me. But as for what could be going on, I think it'll be that, um... Hearth Swarming is pretty much a pony thing, isn't it? So, it's basically going to be teaching Christmas to these other races and other creatures. And I think this can be a really interesting and or compelling episode. I've heard that people were very positive about this episode, so I have a feeling it's that kind of good feeling we're going to get. So, I am excited for that. I am excited for this. And... Yeah, let, let's have another heartwarming episode. Why not? You can never go wrong. Depending on who you ask, but... <laughs> as the... Um, not recap. As the In A Nutshell videos once said... Christmas is awesome! So with that being said, let's get started. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Uh, voices fill the night, hearts warming, Eve is here once again. That is a fantastic on, callback, I love it. Already they referenced my favourite episode. You sing it, Samba. Not every creature celebrates the same way, you know. Yeah. Dragons don't do pony holidays. Sure we Well, maybe do. they should. I love Heartswarming Eve. It's all about friends and presents and family and presents. It's also <laughs> about putting aside differences to come together, like the Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns did on the first holiday. Oh, is that why you put their fire of friendship on top of the tree to help us remember their unity? That is cool. Because it looks cool. This is my favorite hey, you, you get year. me, Rainbow. <laughs> Not that I don't like the other ones. Tuesdays are great! <laughs> you ought to like any day that has started winter break. Two whole weeks without classes. How will Ocella survive? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll all enjoy the time off to be home with your families. To celebrate your own traditions. Who's Attention the orphan? Teacher, school is officially out. Happy holidays, and we'll see you after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to commercial. And for those of you traveling outside Equestria... Yeah, shouldn't you guys be getting ready to go? If you miss that train, it's a really long walk. Go pack up, <laughs> and we'll take you to the station. Oh, hello! Yeah. 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 It's that new bow tie I wanted, isn't it? You'll have to wait and see. I'm waiting. Oh. But in the meantime, I'm shaking. Who's this? Is that Chancellor Nase?
or it's the smooths. <laughs> Nothing can stop him. Discord in a cloak. <laughs> and I don't think it was an accident. Some pony was up here. Over there! Ah! Outside. <laughs> That's the student's quarters. It was a student. <laughs> What if I don't Is want to give up? There? Come find me. I'll check that door. <laughs> What's happening? Another decorating party? Yes. Has any creature come in here? <laughs> well, yeah. All of us did. To pack? Like you told us to? After that. Did you hear anything? <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. What's up? Yonatan packing! Well done. Is something wrong? The back door's locked. No way out. But whoever did it had to have come in here. We saw them. Whoever did what? Whoa. That is so not I, cool. I like how Twilight and isn't very quick to suspect a student. No one came out. And all of you are still here. Okay, fair one enough. One of you must have done this. But why would any of you want to sabotage her? I was going to say how it contrasts with how she instantly no, believed the CMC were teaching uh, yeah, not do this. Uh, by that one kid face. wrong. We don't know what happened. Maybe this wasn't even on purpose. But I want to give whoever caused this mess a chance to tell the truth and explain themselves. I'll make it easy for you. Close your eyes. That is a good method. My parents did that with me. Yeah, it works. Now, if you Truth this, is the best razor policy. Cloth, or claw, or whatever. <laughs> whatever, racist. <laughs> Come on, Spike. Looks like we have to... Spike, you can open your eyes. What? Oh, uh, what about me? You all can. <laughs> but since no creature took responsibility for this mess, you're all going to have to help clean it up before we can go home. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Why do I have to stay? Oh, but the holidays! This means that it really Why isn't one of them, doesn't we'll it? bring you into my office one at a time. Since honesty is one of the elements of harmony, we want to give you each a chance to tell us the truth. And once we find out who did it, just you wait. We're gonna... we'll... Rainbow. What are we gonna do exactly? <sighs> The guilty party won't be going home over heartswarming break. She or he will stay here for some one-on-one -on -one friendship lessons. But what if none of us confesses? Then, I guess there's no holidays for any creature. You'll all stay wow. for the break. <gasps> How extreme. <laughs> I'm pretty right. sure that school holidays on. are Who a set time. Next? You can't just suddenly uh, decide, you know what, the tomorrow. students have to come here. I, I don't think that's hey, how it works. I know. <laughs> we can make a game out of this. See who finishes cleaning up first. Woohoo! Yeah, win! <laughs> yeah, best at cleaning. <laughs> Yak sure is best Let's at bragging at any rate. <laughs> Which one of you did it? I would never do something this horrible. I love heart swarming Eve, Aww. and I do not want to miss going home for it. Huh. I didn't even know Changeling celebrated heart swarming. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's our favorite holiday. Well, since Hedmer Twilight shared it with us last year, she gave our hive very clear instructions. <clears throat> Welcome to the traditions and fun of heart swarming. Here's a guide to help you enjoy the celebration of pony history. Families start the holidays by putting the tree up. Oh, There's well, that mirrors what they did the with the Gold Note Library. <laughs> Just 
Before bed, every pony exchanges gifts. It doesn't say how long we keep doing uh, this. What you're doing is pass the parcel. And to finish <laughs> celebrating, you can build a fire, light it up, and sing carols. Carols, carols, carols. This carols, is carols. adorable. <laughs> oh, that is precious. <laughs> You might have misunderstood things just a little. No, let her let her we do it her way. Exactly it's it's great. You do, but we made our own traditions, and I can't yes. wait to do it all again. This a year. lesson that was learned yes, by Applejack and Pinkie you. Pie in season Hustles, five. <laughs> your turn. How'd it go, Gallus? Oh, I just flipped them off and did a few skateboard flips. <laughs> what happened? What do you think happened? I told her I didn't do it. And I stuck a middle claw up at it. always home for holidays. How do you celebrate hearts warming in Yak Yakistan, Yona? Yaks do not. Our holiday much better. Tell us. It's called Snail Dark Fest. Night before, Yaks gather things to smash and put them in big pile. Then, in morning, we smash them. In afternoon, we smash them again. Oh yes, so Yak traditions are very one note. I forgot. Stuff, like all your other holidays. <laughs> no! How Griffin get that idea? This holiday about so much more. It's about Last patience to wait until the next day. Fix Snildart ever. Whole <laughs> family. Grandpa, Grandma, yeah. Yona's brother, sister, mother, father, yeah. All go to woods. Sing a song. song. Yak song. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Buy the album. Calves and family pick a perfect smashing log. Then Yak smash it. Then Yak family build perfect snow fort. It's ratchet! <laughs> of course! <laughs> then we hang perfect things on perfect monsters. And then, and then, and then? Yes! What do you think yaks are? Barbarians? Yes! The pile is for <laughs> special family rituals. Last year, ritual for Yona. All yak family gather around Yona. And smash! <laughs> and braid Yona hair for first time. Aww. So, to recap, your holiday is about smashing things and family. Two most perfect and things don't ever conflate the two. Happy Snail Dart Fest! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Snail Dart to you too, Yona! It's so cool to learn new traditions from new friends! Oh, and this isn't going to make them look very good, is it? Like, yeah, if Twilight well, comes in and sees them smashing something. Sambar? Sorry, but they said they want you to go in next. Okay, so that's not where this is going. Good. <laughs> Why the rush to get home, Smolder? Like you said, dragons don't really have holidays. Do they? Me. That's so I really sad. appreciate that we're getting some culture well, feedback from the students. Well, we don't have the Feast of Fire. Every dragon gets together and tells stories. The best one wins a pile of gemstones. Ooh, what story won last year? It was called A Dream Come True. Come on, now you've got to tell it! Ugh, fine. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was this sad little dream. Okay, so this is the entire episode. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. This is basically Campfire Tales Spades. Part 2. She lived alone in the wilderness with nothing to eat. But one night, as she sat alone in the storm, she heard something. I really like this dragon it design. Was the dragon lord. And that one. They've gotten the so much Lord better since that season two friend. episode with the dragon designs. To the dragon lands for a great feast. Very nice. Scale sat with the dragon lord's family and friends and had the biggest, best dinner of gemstones she ever eaten. 
Then, while the dragons were telling stories, Scales thought it would be so easy to seize power from this feeble... Wow, okay, that was a dragon. twist I wasn't expecting. She saw her chance and Well, I guess it. dragons are stereotypically greedy, she so... She claimed the Bloodstone Scepter and took over the dragon lands. ha 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 Damn, savage. That's a horrible story. <laughs> Maybe to you, but dragons like hearing about weak kind creatures getting defeated. Silver Street, you're up. Let's go. Hmm. So, did you tell them you did it? What? <laughs> no way. Why would I say that? You already live in Ponyville. Staying here over break is no big deal. Uh, friendship, good place for Pony to have Pony holiday. I'd still rather spend it with my family at home. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> I have the best holiday story ever. It's called... The Day My Heartswarming Doll Almost Fell Into the Fire. Very specific. Oh. Just before we went to bed, my mom, my dad, and my sister... All put our hearts oh, our his sister is precious. Mat, just like we do every oh. year. Oh, this year I put my. Oh dog no, you can't just do that. Oh. <laughs> oh no, but seriously, she is one of the cutest designs I've ever seen. And my doll hit the floor, but it could have gone in the fire. <laughs> Excellent. That's, That's the best story of the episode, well. hands down. Yeah. It was a heartwarming miracle. Next! Smolder, come with me. Yona, Twilight's waiting for you. Oh, do the last two at once. The last two? So if neither one of them confesses, that means... We're never going home! Or... It was oh, a ghost. We're here forever! Beyond forever! But I can't miss the three days of freedom celebration! How long does that last? A week. It used to be only one day, but now to commemorate our escape from the Storm King, we're adding hey, two Hey, another movie reference! Awesome. See? There's a book? Mm-hmm. Queen Novo had these made for the Mount Eris Board of Tourism! Let's to read the entire thing! <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. I really like when the show switches up the animation style like this. Lots of things. The second day will be on Mount Eris. With sky dancing and a wind song in the harmonizing heights to celebrate the Storm King's defeat. Mm hmm. In the third the Storm day, King's every will party together <laughs> on land and sea. Grandparents and parents and sisters, uncles, brothers, acquaintances, neighbors, Damn. and cousins. And at the end of the night, Queen Novo is going to give out presents. Aww. Wait, hold on. C cousins? What are those? Your aunts and uncles' children? You know, part of your family. Oh, you're teasing us again, right? Hmm, interesting. I'm guessing neither one of you confess. Gallus is the one with no family. Let Twilight say wait here. Maybe they're changing their minds about sending us home. Why would they? Face it, we're stuck here. But but oh, I don't cry. My mom makes the best kelp fritters. How can you be so cool about this? We're mad. We just show it differently. More like you don't show it at all. What pony did that? <laughs> Infighting! Maybe it wasn't just one prankster. Maybe there were three of you. And you're trying <clears throat> to hide your guilt by not being upset. It does make sense. Guys, stop it. Or maybe whoever did it is only pretending to be upset to throw us off. Come on, Gallus. Say what you gotta say. Come on, let it go. <laughs> I love how he's like so chill. He'll have to shout <laughs> for the first time in his life. Come on, Ocellus, you know you did it. Just mess up. I said stop fighting. That's not what the holidays are about. 
No matter what you call them, or how you celebrate. Do, do you know how lucky you all are? With your stories about sharing and yeah, kindness here it and getting goes. together with every creature that you care about? But griffins do that too, don't they? Some holiday about a moon? <sighs> Blue Moon Festival. The one time of year when griffins are nice to each other. Well, as nice as we can be. Well, Guild is Families taking some steps. And yeah. Complain about the food and give each other presents they don't like, and mostly just try not to yell at each other. Well, at least you get to be with your family. No, because I don't have a family. There it is. What about Grandpa Gruff? That's just his name. He's not any verse actually. That's what I thought. I knew they weren't actually related. He's just I Grandpa like Gruff. Had a place in Griffinstone. And I came here and, well, met all of you. So I don't want to go home for the break. And that's why I did it. <gasps> Griffin has okay. decorations? Yeah, it was me. That's actually a really touching reason. <gasps> so it wasn't a Celis? <laughs> Sandbar! Things for us. I didn't plan to. I just figured if I made a mess, our teachers would make us stay to clean up. Be together a little longer. Well, it worked, didn't it? Better than I thought. When Headmare Twilight threatened to cancel winter break, that meant I would get to be with all of you through the entire holiday. That's why I didn't confess. So why are you admitting this now? I hated seeing all you fighting and, and blaming. Yeah, each I other. like this. This That's went in a good direction. All your holidays mean, except maybe yours, Smolder. <laughs> can't keep all of you from the happiness of your homes and families just because I This is some that. excellent development for Gallus. I'm sorry. Don't worry. You won't have to tell our teachers. I will. You don't have to. We already know. <laughs> That's what ponies do. We spy and we eavesdrop. But we wanted to give you the chance to tell the truth. I'm proud that you did. And I'm glad to see you've been paying attention in Professor Applejack's honesty classes. But you're still gonna have to make amends and stay over break for extra friendship lessons by yourself. I'll stay with him. Me too. Yona, stay <laughs> also. I'm staying. What? All right. <laughs> I guess pony holidays can't be that bad. Now you can finally know what it's like to spend hearts warming with friends who care about you. Well, he pretty much spelled out that they're his family. Any extra lessons? Since you obviously know that hearts warming is about coming together, I'd be honored if all of you would join my friends as guests at our holiday table. Yeah! After we finish cleaning up. Hey, this reminds me of another story. The time I almost spilled grape juice on the white couch. But then you didn't. Does it, have it a missed. Depressing ending? I'm not sure pony stories work that way. Um, Gallus want Yona braid feathers? Uh, pass. Hearts warming! Eve is here once again! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful shot. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure or where this episode was going at first, making me a little bit quiet. Like, I was trying to really analyse and see what direction we were taking, because when you don't know what's happening, things can feel a little bit slower than they actually are. Not on a boring level, but on a are we getting to this soon kind of feeling. And as soon as I realised what was happening, everything clicked into place. As soon as I understood that this was a Campfire Tales Part 2 with a heartwarming theme, it was a lot easier to settle into the flow of experiencing these characters' cultures and histories. And, you know, their tales of lore and everything. It, it was such a good building episode. That's essentially what this was. It was building on all of the creatures' cultures, uh, showing a little bit more of life back home, and also developing their characters a little bit further. But the main standout was, of course, Gallus. 
not only does he reveal himself to be a Scootaloo type of figure, as in not really having any on-screen family kind of connections, and and he's the one who's actually canonically stated he doesn't really have a family. Like, Scootaloo has yet to say it out loud. They've not let her do that yet. And I know that in the comic she's living with some aunts or something, but the show has yet to confirm that. Um, But Gallus straight up says that, you know, he doesn't say it, but he implies that the rest of them are his family now, and that is so sweet and a really understandable reason for why he did what he did. At first, I thought that the episode might betray a twist and be like, actually, none of them did it. It was just Spike <laughs> or something like that. You know, I know it didn't fit the cloak figure, but I don't know. I just pulled a random name out of my head, but you know, I thought they were going to do that thing where, oh, Oh, I'm sorry for automatically assuming just because it was only you guys in the room that it had to be you. It can't have been a pony that teleported. Oh no, that's not a possibility. What if it was Trixie wanting to pull a little prank on Twilight? It was a possibility and Twilight overlooked it, but meh. Nah. <laughs> yeah, but they did. They played it straight. They didn't do that twist and... And the students were even on the right track when they said that it's one of the students who's playing aloof. Like, you'd be a lot more stressed out if you didn't intend for this to happen. Now, Smolder is pretty much that cool, but Gallus did a really good job of putting up a front because it was technically correct. <laughs> the reason he was calm was because he knew the truth. He did it. And it's just that he didn't expect things to escalate to Twilight threatening to keep them in throughout the winter break. So I really like the direction this episode took with Gallus, his development, his history and his reasons for doing what he did that made sense in the overall context of the episode. Especially how hearing everybody's stories made him feel worse about what he did and about his own situation, and seeing them all start to fight. Oh. This was well written, and well, you know, it went in a great direction that I didn't see coming at first. You know, I was actually surprised when Gallus came out and said that he did it, but it started to click, to be honest, when he started talking about family and stuff like, oh no, you poor thing. So, yeah, I can see why this is a popular episode. It does so much for Gallus' character. I agree, this was a great episode. You know, despite not much happening in the sense of the way I like to watch cartoons, like, you'll know what I mean by previous episode ratings that I've done, but I think this is going to be the most slow-paced 5 out of 5 that I give just for how significant it was and how it got me to feel for Gallus as the Scootaloo of the Griffins. Yeah. Yeah, it was also really cool to see uh, Gilda and Gabby and an adorable little griffin in the same room together. (laughs) So it looks like the few friendly griffins in in Griffinstone congregate together. Though I don't know where Greta is. Maybe Greta is spreading the love of friendship towards other Griffins. Hmm. But yeah, that, that's pretty much all I can say about this episode. It was Campfire Tales Part 2, and I loved it just as much, uh, if not a little less, than the original Campfire Tales, but it was really helped by a connection to my favourite time of year in the pony world because it's linked to my favourite episode and some excellent development for Gallus. And on that positive note, I'm looking forward to episode 16 and I shall see you guys next time.